Okay, now let's talk about Clean Frac All Brine Non Damaging Friction Reducer or FR for slick water fracturing. This FR dares to claim that it is unique and revolutionary. Here is why. First of all, it's extremely resistant against common oil field ions such as potassium, calcium, and iron with ferric resistance of up to 100,000 ppm or 10%. In contrast, none of the tested FRs survived the stress of ferric at merely 100 ppm. Second of all, clean frac is uniquely non-damaging without using any breaker. As was illustrated by core experiments, the damage by clean frac was less than 0.5%, whereas those by regular FRs were greater than 90%. It was with these two reasons that clean frac is called revolutionary. More details will be coming up next. This second slide summarizes seven key features of clean frac in comparison with a regular. Unlike a typical FR, which forms cloudy suspension or emulsion, clean frac leads to crystal clear solution upon dissolving in water with dissolution rate in an order of 15 to 30 seconds. Clean frac is resistant against calcium and ferric and works with acids such as 15% HCl at elevated temperatures. It should be emphasized that HCl is frequently used during the spearhead stage of hydraulic fracturing to initiate the fractures. Therefore, acid resistance or tolerance is critical for the use of an FR. Besides its key most feature of non-damaging, this clean frac is environmentally friendly with field proven applicability and advantages over regular FRs, linear, and cross linked guar gels. We'll elaborate these seven key features one by one in the following slides. The next two slides will be focused on compatibility. Feature number one for clean frac is that it forms crystal clear solution in fresh water cooperating that it possesses no incompatible components in the subsequent slick water. Regular FRs result to cloudy suspension or emulsion, as was shown in the image on the left. The cloudiness of a slick water indicates the presence of particulates with a size that is within the resolution of human eyes. These particulates, with imaginably complex nature, may compromise the fracking process with elevated pumping pressure and impede gas and oil flow during production. Compatibility becomes a much larger issue when metal ions are present. One may argue that I'm using fresh water for fracking. Why do I have to be concerned about ions? The answer is quite simple. Regardless of the nature of water being utilized at well surface, Metal ions are inevitably generated during fracking and intrinsically present in large abundance in formation water. Although compatibility with metal ions may not be such a big issue during fracking, it will eventually make trouble once metal ions and FRs meet in a pay zone. Metal ions may cause regular FRs to aggregate and therefore clogging the precious flow channels during production which minimizes the outcome of fracking and the bottom line of an operator. As can be seen from the image on this slide, the presence of calcium and iron ions lead to the aggregation of the regular FR, whereas in both of the cases, the resultant slick waters by clean frac were crystal clear. Clean frac feature two, rapid dissolution or activation. Why rapid activation is important? It is because on the fly, injection is the most preferred way of pumping and during injection, the time an FR travels from well surface to downhole is only 3 to 5 minutes. In an FR is not fully effective near instantaneously, the outcome of the fracking will be substantially tarnished. Activation becomes a much larger issue when the water being used has high TDS, which refers to total dissolved solids, or the fracking operation is conducted at low temperatures. As can be seen from the graph on this slide, at 5 Celsius or 41 Fahrenheit, clean frac activates in less than 15 seconds. However, a regular oil external FR evolves to merely about 20% friction reduction in one minute. Clean frac key feature 3, all brine applicability. 
as was briefly touched in the previous slide, one of the two unique characteristics of clean frac is that it is extremely resistant against common oil field ions, such as potassium, calcium, and iron, with a striking ferric resistance of up to 100,000 ppm, or 10%. This current slide shows how much a difference one may expect in terms of the extent of friction reduction when various FRs were utilized in the presence of the same metal ions. As can be seen from the graph, clean frac performs superbly regardless of the presence of calcium at 5% and ferric at 100 ppm. In contrast, for the regular FR in comparison, its performance was substantially compromised in the presence of 5% calcium chloride. Most strikingly, this FR lost its effectiveness entirely in the presence of 100 ppm ferric chloride. It should be noted that all the FRs we evaluated for comparison led to no performance in the presence of ferric with clean frac being the only performer. As was slightly mentioned previously, ferric is an unavoidable metal ion in the oil field, either as a result of acidizing, corrosion, or intrinsic presence in the formation. Therefore, iron resistance or tolerance is an aspect petroleum engineers may have to consider during their frac job designs. Acid resistance of an FR may have to be addressed as well, as acid such as 15% HCl is constantly utilized during a frac job. In the slide here, one sees that a typical FR flocculates at 72 degrees Celsius or 162 degrees Fahrenheit in HCl. In contrast, clean frac remains clear under identical conditions and with post-adding ferric chloride at 1000 ppm. This should empower design engineers with substantial peace of mind for their field operations. The second unique but ultimately the most important feature of clean frac is its non-damaging nature without any breakers, such as ammonium persulfate or APS. The next two slides will be dedicated to this key feature. Clean frac was compared with two regular FRs at dosages of 1 GPT or 1000 ppm during core flood experiments in the lab. Basically, synthetic cores were used for regained perm evaluation. The cores were flooded with various slick waters for damaging. Nitrogen was then flowed through the reverse direction to evaluate the extent of damaging and regained perms. As can be seen from the table on this slide, the regained perm for clean frac was greater than 99%, whereas those for the two regular FRs were 12% at best and 0.04% at the worst. It should be noted that the current reported overall shale gas recovery rate was merely 7%. The extremely serious formation damage should account for such a low recovery rate. Clean frac is tasked to bringing up the recovery rate to be greater than two digits. No one disagrees that formation damage is the biggest concern for hydraulic fracking and everybody concurs that the rightfully chosen fluid is critical for effectively fracking a well. What is shown here is a hypothetical schematic of the scenario when FR molecules encounter metal ions such as calcium and ferric down hole in the pay zone. When FRs with poor brine tolerance or resistance are utilized, the calcium and iron ions may function as muster points, where FR molecules meet and group up together to form rubbery mini plugs. These rubbery mini plugs are highly effective at sealing off porous spaces and making the corresponding flow channels airtight. It is anticipated that the sealing by these mini plugs be systematic, although it needs the blockage by only one mini plug to stop the flow of the entire channel. Thus, it will never be overdone for one to minimize the extent of formation damage by using a non damaging FR, such as clean frac. In addition to the five key features described above, clean frac is also environmentally friendly, which is drawing worldwide attention. The ecotoxicity of clean frac and its counterparts were assessed by a parameter called EC50. EC50 refers to the concentration of a chemical at which half the population of the testing fluorescent bacteria is killed. The higher the EC50, the lower the toxicity. As can be seen from the table, 
the EC50 for clean frack was greater than a million ppm, which means it is greener than drinking water from the perspective of EC50. In contrast, the two regular FRs in comparison are both toxic with various extents. The effectiveness of utilizing clean frac is proven in the field by well clean out, vertical, horizontal fracturing versus regular FRs and guar gums and production enhancement. It was shown by case studies that clean frac tames pumping pressure 20% more effectively during well clean out by coiled tubing and 10 to 80% more effectively than regular FRs and guar gums for fracking. More importantly, it was shown that clean frac may control the production decline 300% more effectively than conventional situations. Anyways, don't miss out on the opportunity of taking advantage of this revolutionary clean frac friction reducer for your bottom line. We, Phoenix C&W, and the team behind it will strive our best for your every success. For more information, please visit our website at www.phoenixcnw.com or contact us directly by email or phone for a free consultation. Thank you.